At this time, I'd like to call our meeting of the South County Senior, I mean South County uh, <laughs> ENS to order. First order of business. This meeting is limited to 45 minutes. Next. Where do we need to go? Agenda. Do we have an agenda? It's the same one that we have for Wednesday. Yeah. So I believe Wednesday's was to talk to. I know Tim? that was part of the agenda. I was trying to pull it up now, but this iPad is not cooperating very well. Okay. But I'm happy to answer whatever questions you guys or Okay. Let's ask Tim questions. So I understand in speaking with Zoe, you were interested in stepping in to um, I don't know the right words to use. Oversee? Uh, yeah, I'm happy the to department. step into, like, I know it's going to be a little bit of a, t a period of time before we get an official director. And unfortunately, with how the regulations and stuff work, we need a director. So I'm happy to fill that role. I've been in EMS for 12 years now, and I feel pretty comfortable with the day to day operations of South County and how things work. Um, and I've been looking at the town of Deerfield bylaws as well as the state regulatory guidelines for an EMS agency. So I'm pretty familiar. I'm, I'm going to be honest. If something really serious happens, I'll probably have to defer to you guys for those kind of things. But um, anything that happens inside this building as far as EMS goes and as far as running this organization goes, I'm pretty confident in my ability to handle that. Um, what, Tim, what do you see the biggest, the biggest uh, areas of concern that you would have? for the department right now or okay start with that i mean the biggest concern the biggest area of concern i see right now is there's a lot of fear and unknown in the department just from us getting a new boss and it's people are just really nervous right now and well, well, can, can i ask why there's nerves i just think because it's new. i mean we, we've been we've been in business now for 10 years oh i understand that okay so we've been pretty consistent there's wide support in the community and, and what would you do to dispel that? Because I don't understand why there would be any concern. I, 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 every one of us has had a new boss. I understand and, and, that. And I've never been afraid of a new boss. I've always thought of it as an opportunity to show what I can do. I think it's kind of just fear of the unknown. Um, I, I don't, like, I, I can't speak for everyone, and I don't know that that's how everyone feels. Okay. I just, my view on it personally is change is going to be change, and whatever happens will happen, and I'm not, like, we've been running for 10 years, I don't think a new boss is going to change anything all that much. But that's that's kind of what I see as the biggest issues of the department is people are just worried, and I don't know if that worry is unfounded or it's founded. But oh, I, no, I, I've heard that. Well, I thought that the last meeting I heard most of the department was here, and I think that they had the same concern. I, don't, I was very perplexed why that would be, because the community has rallied and supported the EMS now for actually 14 years, because we started 14 years ago. So I don't know why there would be that type of concern. Um, okay, my concern would be, okay, tomorrow we're firemen and paramedics. No one said that. No one's even thought about that. No, I don't think anyone. We're, we're going to do away with the EMS service. No. I don't think people are. Do that. I think people are more concerned about just, and I don't know for certain, but I think people are just concerned about having, like, Zoe was a fantastic boss, and people are just concerned about a new boss. Like, I, I don't know if it's just because we have so few issues here that something like this is very stressful. I don't know. I wish I could give you a better answer. Oh, no, I understand. <laughs> no, that's, that's, and, and just to let you know, when Zoe started, Zoe started in the position of director 10 years ago, probably had less experience than you do right now. Yeah, no, I, I understand that. <laughs> you know, so. Okay. Gary, good question. Are you concerned about being working alongside these guys and then all of a sudden being their boss? No, I think we all have a pretty good mutual respect. And for the last two years or so, I've been doing CQI, which isn't quite management, but I have to, when something comes up on a call or something wasn't done the way it should, or something seems like it wasn't done the way it should, I've had to have conversations with these guys it puts me in kind of that managerial role, like I'm telling you this is how something should have been done. And we've always had respectful interactions. Like I've never, the feedback I've given people has always been received well, and I've never felt like people weren't willing to receive it. So I think it, it will be different, certainly, to be in a position where I'm above them on an everyday basis. 
but I don't think it's going to be, like, I don't think I'm going to have a problem doing it. You're pretty comfortable with yourself? I, I'm pretty comfortable with myself, and I'm pretty, I know my limits, and I'm, like, I, like I said, if I, if a situation comes up that's, requires more input, like something specifically disciplinary or something, I'm going to have to reach out to you guys because I just don't, I'm, like, I can't, it's not like this is the chief position that can actually do that much with those things anyway, and I would have to refer to, I believe, it's Casey Warren or the Deerfield Select Board for those things, or the BOO as a whole. Actually, I think, um, you know, the IMA might say that uh, it's the town chair. administrator of the chair. Right. So it would be Sunderland's town administrator, if I'm correct. It, it, it is. Um, there we, 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 we work on, you know, it, it's kind of, it's, I've always, I felt, I always felt that it put town administrator in, be, because we work under Deerfield rules, I, but I, I also think that there's an advantage that you have three town administrators, the Whiteley, Deerfield, or Sunderland, to talk to, and, and freely talk to. Um, and and, and I think together. that's a benefit. And they work together pretty yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and actually, I, I think to really make Tim, just in my opinion, you should be talking to all, all three town administrators because I think each of them will offer you will offer you different experiences. Mm -hmm. You know, like Brian and Whiteley. I mean, he been a, been Whiteley has a a perspective. Sunderland has a perspective. Deerfield has a perspective. So I think communicating with all three would be a, a positive or touch basing with them. Yeah, least. no, I think that's a good idea. Like, like I said, I don't, I have lim limited management experience and I'm happy to learn from everyone who has oh, yeah. something to, like you all have something to contribute. You all have been doing this for a while. You've all been involved <coughs> in the board and the town administrators have more experience with that as well. <coughs> more than happy to reach out to them and get the knowledge that I can from them. Um, okay. Tim, questions? Um, yeah, I just wanted to briefly recap um, in your resume. Can you talk a little bit about um, your uh, emergency medical services management program from uh, Springfield College? Yep. So the program was a bachelor's degree program. It was a hybrid of the paramedic program, which itself is not usually a college degree, and then a, a focus on management classes. So we did a bunch of classes on like radio systems operations and we designed an EMS system and we did management internships and um, it was a very very involved very like thorough process like I, I interned down in Suffield which is a similar but different ambulance service to this it's a little bit bigger they do a little more calls but um, it kind of gave me a very interesting I, let me see EMS from a broader picture because I grew up in Deerfield I started here with Deerfield EMS and that was all I knew so let me experience that um, it also gave me some business and management, not really experience, but knowledge. Like I understand the basics and then some. Um, I'm definitely, I'll be honest, it's not like the, the strongest suit that I have, but it gave me the basic understanding of how like business and management and stuff works. Mm -hmm. um, and do I understand um, that you're not really interested in being, you're not an internal candidate to become the director? No, only because I love being a paramedic. And I have, I have 27 years left before my like my pensions maxed out um, and I just I can't see myself in that office for 27 years I love going out every day in the ambulance I love treating patients I love interacting with the members of the community and maybe in 15 years when we're looking for a chief again or something then I'd consider it but for right now it's just I don't really I, I like what I have and I don't really want to give it up just yet did you see any particular, this is my last question, do you see any particular areas of, if you if you become the interim director, um, that you're not looking forward to being responsible for? <laughs> I like that question. Yeah. Not looking forward to being responsible for. <laughs> well, I mean, the disciplinary thing, you said you'd reach out, you know, I understand. Yeah, and, the, and kind of to touch on what he said, the, the, I think the thing I'm not looking forward to the most and we haven't really had many issues throughout the years of South County, but these are my peers and my colleagues, and it's, I would really be hopeful that we don't have any sort of major incident or something. If it does happen, like it'll be dealt with. I like to think I've handled every obstacle life's thrown at me and it's, I've walked away okay. Um, but that's, that's what I'm looking forward to the least is should anything like that occur. Um, but 
like I said, I'm confident in my ability to handle it, especially with all your support and the support of the town administrators. Crystal. All right, so again, just from the email Zoe sent a few days ago, um, you're comfortable with doing infection control officer? I, I'm comfortable, so I'm comfortable taking the role. Um, the way my understanding of it works is that the, normally you would take a certification course to become a DICO, which my plan is to do. You don't have to do it as the administrator of a department. I think that's a little reckless. Mm -hmm. um, so my plan is to probably next week, because that you can take them online, is to take okay. the DICO certification course. Um, and as far as reporting to the state for any major incidents or anything, that's pretty basic stuff. Um, yep. it's, it's outlined in the CMRs, and I'm pretty confident, and I know yep. when those things need to be reported and who they need to be reported to. Yep. So if it came down to fielding and processing a workers' comp I'm, thing? I'm, I'm familiar with the forms. I would probably reach out to the, the town administrator for yep. that because... But you got a plan on how you can handle that. Right. Like, you know, um, it comes up. My experience with them is always that when I filed a claim is that it's always a kind of a confusing process. So yep. I, I probably would reach out to an expert sooner than later for that. Yep. And then the 24 seven on call. It, I have always lived this job as yep. kind of 24 seven on call for, for years. And I've never asked for it. People have always texted me and called me when they have concerns. People have called me yep. when we've had new employees, they call me and they're like, how do I call out? I'm like, well, you call the boss, but I'm happy to help you and yep. deal with that. Um, but my phone has always been ringing and says something to do with work and I'm actually, a lot of people don't understand this, but I can turn it off really easy. I can respond to an email and then go back to my life. It doesn't really affect me. Okay. Um, I don't know if it was the starting off in Deerfield EMS where we respond to a call and then go back to like stuff and it just. Right. That was my beginning in it too. Yeah, so that kind of looks like it covers the concerns that Zoe had about some of these roles. Okay. I'm good. Matt? You just touched on a couple of ones I was going to ask, so thank you very much. <laughs> um, I appreciate your honesty and finding out or discovering about yourself that you prefer to be out in the field than sitting in an office running, running the show or managing the service because I think when I was younger there was always this kind of push for people to continue climbing, but as you would go on that journey, you'd always meet people along the way who are happy doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And some people look at them and, and ask, you've been doing this for years, is there a time for you to move on or do something else? And some people are just happy doing that. Mm -hmm. I can tell you not doing this anymore, that's one part of the job I miss, is that interaction being able to make a difference for people. So I appreciate the fact that you've you found that and understand it. Um, the 24 seven piece, you know, it's, look, we don't know what's going to happen day to day, and you're in, you're in a business where we're going to get called when things go to hell and people need help. Right. Um, I, while I hope that you'll be available as much as possible, I also understand that you have a light, but there are going to be times when that may not happen. Right. So I know we don't currently have a deputy or a number two within the department. Um, and I believe in speaking with Zoe, the thought was, let's go out and find the chief, and then let the chief go through a process for a number two. Um, is there somebody in the department that you feel that you could rely on should there be something that comes up so and you're not available? Zoe's actually done a really good job of, over the last few years, splitting things up. Like, I, me and Alicia have been doing operation stuff. Um, Zach Bastoni has been doing the logistics. Aliyah has been handling a lot of the station stuff. Um, so I'm confident that any of the situations are going to fit into one of those things. And I'm confident that should I be unavailable or should I not be able to get back, that those people can handle those problems. Um, I have complete faith in them and they've impressed me over the years with their ability to handle those things. Um, but yeah, I think that. I have I have faith should I not be available, but okay. I don't see a situation where I'm at least not available to like take a phone call or something. Um, I'm usually, and I, I was going to propose this, and I don't know if this is what you guys want. Um, I'm prepared to be available through the week, obviously not 24-7, but I'm prepared to be available and I can even take the 
the squad home like you guys would like so I can respond to calls and be available during the day. Um, and I have a part-time job, but I, he's understanding of the situation and he doesn't expect me to continue doing stuff if I need to be here. Um, so I'm willing to be as flexible with you guys as I can and try to help offer the best service that we can if there's a call that sounds really bad and needs extra help, I'm planning on coming in and dealing with it. Or if there's not even that, somebody needs to talk to me, like obviously I won't have office hours, but if the fire chief or the police chief needs something, I'm happy to be available for them. Okay. Um, I don't really have that many big day-to-day -day, like requirements. I don't have kids or anything, so I can usually get out of the house pretty easily. Okay, no, I appreciate that. The other piece, and you mentioned before, relying on people for help. I don't want you to feel, if we decide you would be the person, don't feel like you have to be on an island and you've got to do everything by yourself. Oh, no, if I you have I, questions, it's not a sign of weakness. Ask away, ask for support. And if you don't know where to go, feel free to reach out to somebody. Hey, where do I go with this or who do I turn to? Mm -hmm. who, can, who can best help me? Mm -hmm. um, I think just because all the employees are employees of Deerfield, while it's good to touch base with all three town administrators, you're probably going to have a little tighter communication with Casey okay. to keep her in the know about anything that's going on, anything that she needs to be concerned with. Obviously, if it's a workers' comp, it would go through Casey as well, mm -hmm. unless she directs you to somebody else in town to help you through that. Okay. But don't, I don't want you to feel like you're on an island and you gotta, you were expected to know it all because mm -hmm. we're all constantly learning as we go forward. Thankfully, I've had, I mean, you guys have always been great throughout the years, so I feel pretty secure in the fact that if I don't know the answer, you guys will support me with finding out whatever it is I need to find out. Okay. Fred? I'm just here to learn for now. I've got to get myself up to speed okay. on this before I start okay. asking nasty questions. Thank you, Brett. <laughs> Carolyn? Um, we, we just hired a new paramedic, so we have all the onboarding yep. to do and um, probation, probation, uh, probation, uh, probation, 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 yeah. there you go. I'm stuck tonight. That's all right. Um, period to work on. And so do you feel comfortable um, doing that? Yeah. So I've been a training, a mentor here for the last three years, I think. Um, and I've been kind of, I didn't know I was leaving, but I've been kind of taking on more of the, the leadership and the mentor roles. Um, mm -hmm. So I feel pretty confident in my ability to handle that. Um, I've been training people for a long time. I'm pretty familiar with all the stuff that needs to be done. Um, and I feel pretty comfortable that we will get her squared away and get our new per diem squared away without any issue. Um, okay. Um, and, and well, I mean, the hope is that we're gonna work on this, have enough meetings that we get the job posted out there, work on the IMA, get all that straightened out and that we have some response ourselves but if we don't have we don't want to rush we will obviously want the right person right and um so this could work into a long time especially if we end up having to hire a search firm um so one of the things that i have to um which causes trouble is <laughs> budgeting monitoring the budget mm -hmm. and stuff like that so do you feel comfortable about the whole budgetary process? I feel comfortable about monitoring the budget and being aware of what we're spending. Um, when it comes to actually making a budget, that's where I would feel like a little bit weaker. Um, but I feel like with the support of everyone, I'd be able to keep myself through it. Um, but that is a weakness, and that is a concern that I shared with Zoe, is I would be hopeful to be done in this position by that time. Um, but if that's not the case, then I feel comfortable in my ability to get through it. But well, I hope you feel comfortable mm -hmm. about reaching out to us. Oh, 100 percent. Because you've been wonderful. You've come to all our clinics and or been the main person to come to our clinics through the years. So, you've been wonderful. South County means a lot to me, so I I'd like to be as involved as I can with it. Well, you've been really great. Um, so one of the like I said, one of the things is the budget monitoring the budget and trying to make sure that you know we're in line with. They're spending every month. It starts the new budget year tomorrow. Right. And um, so one of our concerns, of course, has been overtime. Right. So in scheduling and trying to make sure that that stays. Right. So the schedule is open-ish right now with David leaving. A lot of that has been filled with per diems. Um, 
and those shifts are still open in the hope that more will pick it up. I will say this month, as far as every other month going forward, we'll probably have a little more overtime than some other months just because if we can't fill those shifts with per diems, we're gonna have to fill them with overtime. Um, people are very flexible and what we will try to have people swap shifts and other stuff into those open shifts. Um, and for what my schedule allows, obviously I will swap into them, but of course I'm still on the truck, so I can only move my schedule around so much without just opening up more overtime and swapping that around. Um, but with how things look right now on the schedule, I'm not super concerned that we're gonna have a ton of overtime next month. Um, I mean, obviously there's a holiday, but other than that, I'm like, there will probably be a few shifts. Like, I don't want to surprise you guys when the time comes, but I don't expect it to be like an ex extremely high number. Um, again, billing is a huge deal. Um, so, are you aware of the um, CPE program where, you know, when we get Medicare reimbursement, then we can apply for the state um, program to get reimbursed additionally to that? Money. I'm um, gonna be honest. That is a question that's caught me off guard. Lori's working on it. Okay. okay. Oh, is that what you were talking about with the the extra money? Hopefully, they they start looking into it late summer. So yeah. it should be the um, July August. They start crunching numbers and then they provide like a report early okay. fall. I didn't realize that was what it was called, but I do remember you talking about yeah. that last month. Okay. So you know stuff. I mean that's part of the trying to keep us afloat mm -hmm. so um do you feel comfortable about that kind of stuff working i feel comfortable that? with it and with cqi <coughs> i'm doing a lot of the making sure the reports are ready for billing and stuff like that so i'm confident that once we get in the nose of it i'll have a pretty good understanding of it um zoe has showed me some of the back end stuff as to what needs to happen for comstar to be able to bill and it's not really that seem a lot of it is very automatic but i know the stuff that i need to check to make sure that those calls are going out um, so I'm not super concerned about it. Okay. And you don't have any problem like assigning workload on that to keep the flow nope, up? No, I have okay. no problem with that. And okay. people are very, people are very good here about even looking for extra work. So I'm not really concerned about it. Okay. Good. Um, so what do you think is going to be the, your biggest problem? We have talked about that a little bit, but. Yeah, I don't, it's hard for me to pinpoint, like I said, exactly one problem. I can tell you what I don't want to happen, but I don't know what the biggest problem per se is going to be. Um, I really wish I could give you a good answer for it, but I, I can't, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it will be. Um, yeah. Okay, that's pretty much what I. So, so Tim, if you had to, if you had to talk to someone, who would you talk to? Oh, you mean as far as? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see who you think you may need to talk to. Well, depending on the situation, I've been on the impression that the chair of the board is who I'm supposed to refer to first for most situations, but I could be incorrect in that. Oh, okay. The, fir the first thing, okay? And this is, this is just talking free. Yeah. You have three of the most experienced people in Gary Stone, Matt Russo, and Bobby Ever. Each of those three gentlemen have run each of their towns EMS, mm -hmm. okay? Gary Stone is one of the most dedicated, Matt, most dedicated, Bob. These guys individually probably did more for their services than a lot of many, many people. Do not hesitate to talk to talk to them. Yeah, okay? that's and, and 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 I would and I'd also recommend that if you have questions you should you be able to talk to Zach, okay? So you, you, you can absolutely talk to any one of us and, and I would encourage you to. Car Carolyn had one of the things that looking back is that like if if you see a um, a rash of overtime because of injuries or vacations or I, I was wondering how now you we're take we're taking basically one of our paramedics is gonna still be running the bus on riding the bus but now you're also you're kind of losing Zach for a while, so you're losing a position, and just Zach was doing shifts. So we we all under have to understand that you're going to have adjustments, right? And there's so oh, don't don't hesitate to send an email just so the 
especially the board, you know, members of the board, um, Tim, Crystal, Fred, so that they can go back to their boards, Carolyn, and let them know, hey, we may see overtime this month because, you, you know, so yeah, be proactive sense. in that. Yeah, that makes complete Don't sense. Don't let Carolyn ask you why so much, there was so much overtime last yeah, month. Yeah, that, that makes complete sense. Well, because because she's doing her job, she's our finance, she's our financial watchdog. So that that's her thing. But 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 so I'm I'm you you have to in your position, you have to um, be able to talk to people. Don't 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 lose that. Ability. Yeah. No, I I have no fear or worries about reaching out to any of you. Um, Especially, I don't know all of you as well as I probably should, but I've never been afraid to ask for help, and I've woken Zoe up. I don't want to wake any of you up, but I've woken Zoe up many a time in the night just because I wanted to make sure I was doing something correctly. And okay. The other thing is, is that um, are we having a meeting next week also? July sixth. So, huh? I think July sixth. I think next Thursday yeah. you are correct. Okay. Yeah. So, so the other thing I, I would recommend is that look and you let us know what you think you need for support do you need someone as an assistant to help you you know get, get an idea get a feel for the chair okay you know do, is it important for you to have someone that is going to take more responsibility just to make things run okay. a little easier okay. no that's that's worth it. yeah that's a good idea and don't be afraid to talk to us about your need of mentorship also. Okay. So if we have to bring someone in to help, that's something that we can do. Okay. All right. But but you have to be honest and Matt Matt said something that, that's about someone that going through up and in, in, in into a position of increasing responsibility. And there's advantages to that because it asks when you're put in those position you have good managers will look at themselves and, and ask themselves what they need to do to get better mm -hmm. be a better manager better use of your time whatever it is okay so use it so use this period of time as, as some introspective so you can look at yourself and make yourself better also. Okay. okay anything else Questions? Comments? All right, what's the pleasure of the board? Make a motion to vote. I, I'm sorry, I don't want to, could I ask a question? Sure. Yes. I, Zoe didn't portray it. What is, and I hate asking about compensation, what is the change in compensation for the position? Is it the chief compensation, or I just don't understand exactly what how it works? Well, we're gonna have a, we have to decide on the stipend. Um, the stipend for assistant is already um, been established, but there's no stipend for an interim yet at this point. Okay. Um, I I don't know what you would suggest. Um, so would so would you would you go on the interim? You go back to your first step of your uh, of your um, position scale. Uh, no, because that's a full time for a full time qualified person. So. Um, it would be some something much less. But um, so I'm just curious because it's the same responsibility. I'm not I'm not trying to argue. I just like it's the same responsibility as the, the chief. I know, but um, we can't offer the. It has to be a stipend. But it can't be the same compensation because it's not not a qualified person for that job. So we're not allowed to pay that. Thank you. Um, Can you pull up our compensation scale? No, I, I can't. I don't know where it would be. Zach, can you grab that? Sure. <coughs> We'd have to offer something substantially less. Yeah, typically when you're, it's a temporary felt-in position, it's it's not the fall pay right. scale. you can't. We're not authorized to do that. Right. Because again, Typically, when you're doing, you know, and just in any business, not necessarily just this one, 
an interim person isn't making the full wage. Uh, I mean, they definitely get compensation for doing it, mm -hmm. but. And I, that's for the record, I understand. That's understandable. I just, I don't, like, I wasn't really given a clear picture of what that would be, so I right. felt like I needed to ask. So you don't want to <laughs> take this on for five bucks. Right. Well, we haven't had we haven't had any discussion on that. That's the one thing. Oh, okay. So, so if it's okay, then I would think Mr. Russo was making a motion to hire Tim as interim, subject to completion of contract negotiate or compensation. And okay. Um, yeah, I was. That's probably what you're saying. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're and, and That's what I heard. I was getting ready to make a motion to offer Tim the position of interim director yeah. to pending any type of contract negotiations. Then. With the, with the uh, town of Deerfield, which is a fiscal agent. Okay. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just wanted no, to no, make sure. No, no, okay. it's okay. It was fair to ask no, the question. I'm sorry I jumped ahead. I mean, it's something we need to discuss and figure it out. Is. We don't expect you to do it for free. And well, what, well. Most of us don't expect This it. is one copy. It does not include the 3% that was voted on yeah. this year. Um, to Carolyn's point, typically an interim is not, and Crystal made the same point as well, not given the full, mm -hmm. the full salary because while we're asking you to fill in and perform a number of the duties, you're not being expected to perform all the duties. Right. That's reasonable. Uh, but... I think we need to arrive at a number that will be um, fair and equitable, uh, considering the additional workload that you'll be responsible for taking time. All right, so I, I, I've heard a motion. Is there a second of the motion of hiring Tim, subject of successful oh, negotiations? Do we have a motion made and seconded for discussion? Is there any other discussion? Yeah. Just want to know what the alternative is, if there is an alternative. Um, you know, we sort of came to this late in the game, and through nobody's particular, you know, it's not blaming anyone for the reason nope. why we're doing this at the last minute. Um, but is there an alternative? I, I'm just asking, uh, you know, before we vote on this. Anybody open alternative? Carolyn, do you have an alternative? Well, I know Blake Gilmore had volunteered um, to be the interim for free, but... Um, well, he could be a great mentor for... Uh, right. Time. And it was a great opportunity to be, uh, you know, a team um, kind of thing. So I think it would be tough to... And again, I know Blake, I have no problems with but Blake hasn't been here for the everyday operation of this. I think as a mentor, I think as someone to help, I think Blake is a great resource, but not having been part of the daily running of this, I think it would be difficult. really difficult for him to step in and do it. Mm -hmm. I have, as you mentioned, I have full faith in Blake. I mean, I, I came up yeah. in the service under him, and we all, I yeah. think those of us who ran years ago know what he's capable right. of. Exactly. And I don't doubt that. My concern with Blake is he's not, I don't think he's, I don't think he's an EMT any longer. Mm -hmm. And to have somebody here day in and day out who understands regulations, paperwork, what has to happen, what has to transpire, um, I agree. I think Blake would be a great mentor. Do you know Blake Gilmore at all? I know his name very well. I imagine we must have met over the years, but I can't okay. picture his face at the moment. You would know, yeah. Okay, you'll learn. But he's. Um, He's very no nonsense. He's very to the point. Um, he's very much a get it done person, and he will cut, help cut through red tape and nonsense to make sure things get done. Um, he's very reasonable, um, very logical in his thinking, and just has this attitude of you know let's go get it done. Um, he would be he would be a great support. He was a mentor to me as I started in the service. I think he'd be great in that role. I I don't think it would be number one fair to him to ask him to run this on a day to day basis. I and I don't know if he would have although he's offered the service 
I don't know if he would have the time to get involved in everything and understand everything the way that you do having been here on a, a day in a day. Right, and if he doesn't have a current EMT, I'm not even sure infection control and any of those things he would be truly I, I don't qualified I, to I do knew. if he's not currently in the okay. so we're, we're, so we I, it, we may we may have a plan to I just don't know what it is yet okay okay so because I'm right. not familiar did, did, with Deerfield's did, wage scale did did you want did you want I mean you've been listening for him did you want to yeah. add something no I just said that better <laughs> there's lots of things going on they're not familiar with and I just have to Okay. I just I just want to make sure that you know we yeah, yeah, you mentioned like Blake. I don't know Blake. <laughs> I can't even. Right. Yeah. I just wanted I just wanted to break, make sure that. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Gary, thoughts? No, I think pretty much everything I've been thinking about has been covered. Are you Are you okay to vote? Yeah. Timmy, are you upset? Matty, okay to vote? Yes. Crystal? Yes. All right, so Fred, Fred, you're going to uh, not vote. I'm not, not qualified to vote yet. Okay. So at this time, all those in, That's a difference. All those in favor, did did we have a, did you want to make four months interim for four months, five months, six months, unlimited? I would say interim, interim until we choose a new chief. That's fair to, that's fair. And, and I, I'll commit to this. Carolyn said earlier, we want to make sure we get the right person. I, yeah. I I don't, as I sit here today, I, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't see this going longer than six months. I mean, my hope is to have somebody in here sooner than that. I don't see it happening in two months, but I don't see it taking six months. Correct. I'm comfortable with that. And if we get down the road and I'm like, wow, I'm in over my head, I'll, I'm going to let you guys know that that's the situation. Yes. You, you got it. Yeah, you, no, you I'm, that's fair yeah, I'm not, don't worry, I don't like drowning. Yeah, it, it's not worth the stress to you either if it, you know, isn't working out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you want to you want to put it uh, six month up to, up to the appointment. I I would feel more comfortable saying to to the appointment of the. Until the appointment of the next. All right. Person. So, so I, mean, I, I will I will accept a I will accept a uh, a motion to amend the motion. Up to six months, or no, up to the appointment of a full time director. If I can interrupt, to protect him, I think putting a back time limit on it, I mean, six months or the uh, hiring of a full manager, just so Tim doesn't know this is going to stretch. If it's until the hiring of the manager, if this could stretch out indefinitely, <laughs> yeah. we, we would have to hire a new interim. Well, and we should also review the stipend because if right. he gets into the budget season, that means, you know, going before right. the select boards and the finance committees and putting the budget together. But I think putting some sort of renewal, you know, time limit of some sort on it. Because budget season no. won't it really get started until January. <laughs> no, it starts in November. Yeah. Okay. It really does. Budgets, budgets are due in November. Yeah. yeah. So do you, you want, it's just around the corner, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, so, how, how would your motion, what do you want to say for motion? Until the <coughs> appointment, appointment of? Yeah, I mean, I still f would feel more comfortable just leaving it to, as the appointment of a new director. That's fine. Private Private understood. Director. Okay, so we have a motion to amend up to <coughs> the appointment until the appoint, uh, appointment of full-time chief. But I, but I do think... Well, I'll vote on that, and then we'll talk about it. <coughs> so we have a second on that? Second. All right, so Crystal made a motion, seconded by uh, okay. Mr. Uh, Matt. All those in favor of the amendment, please say aye. 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 Five zero. Okay, so now we have the motions on the table as the appointment of Tim as the South County EMS interim director up until the appointment of full time. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Five zero. Um, and then the select board will make a, a motion to appoint Tim as interim director. Yep. Um, until a director is full time director. Is so when is your meeting? Second. Right now. Okay. Yeah. All those in favor? Tim Hilchi, aye. Carolyn Nassau. Okay. So, you're appointed. 
Congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you. Sub subject, subject, to, subject, subject to contract subject negotiation. To the, subject to the uh, compensation being worked out. Yeah. Um, All right. I don't know how, so Matt, you just did some quick numbers. I, I don't think it's appropriate to yeah. go did, through this. The, 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 that should be done, Carolyn and Matt. Um, at this point, at, at this point, I'd like to uh, appoint a. Uh, I'd like the. Uh, not want to accept it. I mean, it well, but see, right now, now I'd like to to make a an entertain a motion to have uh, two members of our group uh, enter into negotiations with Tim. Hmm? So I'd like to uh, entertain a motion, and probably Matt and Carolyn. Okay. No objection. Okay. Motion. I motion Matt and Carolyn um, negotiate with Tim for compensation. Second. Matt, are you okay with that? Sure. Carolyn, are you okay with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, so now you, now you guys should. I, I just want to be clear though, having poor Tim to take all this on initially for two or three months mm -hmm. is different than if it stretched out for a long time. I mean, we're all hopeful that we'll get this job description work, worked out, posted, and someone will come forward. But if it doesn't, and we have to do. I mean, we're going to have to interview. I just don't want to hire. I, I think a, South a County. I think South County EMS is a plum job. It is. I, it I, is. I think its reputation is known. It's it's a third service. That's it's not. You you're for profits out there, um, and are much different than South County. There, if you want to be a fireman, paramedic, there's those positions out there. But if you want to be a director of a paramedic service. Uh, as a third service, there's few places like South County. I think it's a unique opportunity, to tell you the truth. I'm not disagreeing, but if we, I want us to make sure it's clear that we take time to interview the search firms if we have to resort to them. Yeah, I, I think I, I we... I mean, I want us to make sure we're doing a really good job on this, because this is a really good service, and we don't want anything to happen to it. No, and I 100% I agree. I think... Our responsibility as a board is if this drags out into December, January time period, we need to sit down and have another conversation. Yes. To ask, I, I just, well, are you okay? I think that's very fair. And then we'll figure out at that point if... Because this is a whole other layer of job right. requirement for you. But, right. but, but I also, but I also, I would expect that Tim is going to be talking to our town administrators and chair, whatever, about... Does he need? Does he not? Does does he need additional assistance? Does he need an assistant? Does he need to? You know, we we may have to look at 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 having name an assistant for him that that's willing to, that that can help him with the day to day. Or splitting up mm -hmm. some of the tasks. Correct. For yep. again, everything comes down to financial. I understand that, but splitting up some of the tasks for a small. Or I'm not saying small, but for a reasonable stipend, right? So if you take and say, all right, well, you know, we're going to have to have someone do infection control. They're going to have to get certified. They're going to have to do all these things. You do have a chief salary that you do have some wiggle room for working with. So you could, if this drags on too long or, or if it becomes too much for Tim, you can mm -hmm. break up some of those tasks or a stipend. In, in, in long in term also you have to look at you have to look at um, in, in Zoe's act from way back always talked about um, developing the next the next leaders of the group. So mm -hmm. he, he Zoe said that ten years ago, he said it five years ago, and he said it mm -hmm. last year. So it's something that we have to look at also. Okay? Yeah, I'm good. One of the one of the pieces that concerns me is what you're hearing from the staff and their concerns going forward. So my question is, or I'll make a comment, if you need support from us to help quell fears of the staff that's here, let us know. 
my commitment, I didn't work all those years ago to get the service to where it is today, to have it fall down when a key member leaves. And I think we all work too damn hard to let this go sideways. Yeah, I've had too many meetings. Yes, well, <laughs> and we're gonna have a bunch more. I but can't imagine this is gonna go sideways. <laughs> no, and I don't expect that. I think, I think what we've got here is something special. I'm very proud of what has been developed here as a former director. I'm sure you are too. I mean, we bust our tails making sure this was set up. And th yes, there's. We need to update an IMA to make sure we're current. We need to update the chief's job to make sure it's current. We're not looking to vastly change anything. Mm -hmm. We're not looking to merge with the fire department. We're not looking to do any of that stuff. We want to keep this path, this this group moving forward the way it needs to move forward. We're committed to that, and we're committed to finding the right leader. We don't want to just go out and grab the first name off the street and okay, you're in, and let's see how this goes. We want to make sure we've got an informed decision, we've got a good leader, someone who's going to fit in with the culture and fit in with the group. We may not all agree on it, because God knows when we voted on Zach at the time to become the leader, there was a, a split decision. And thankfully, things worked out the way they did. Uh, right. But we are committed to having those debates and having those discussions to make sure we get everybody's viewpoint on it. And we do our <coughs> best job to choose the next leader of the department. I think that's really important for all of us. And that's, I mean, I wasn't really concerned about that part, but it's, it's reassuring to even hear it that like, you guys are just as concerned about it as we are. Sure. Um, more so. Yeah. You, you can understand. You, you guys work here. You get a, you get a paycheck. We get all the money. Okay. <laughs> we don't. We, we live here. Not say you don't, but we live here. We stake our reputation on this department. You you you're so so we have I more. We have more, we actually have more to lose year. if it fails than you do. Could could we looked at our neighbors? We looked at our friends. We looked at our families. And, and we and we presented this, okay, and and they trusted us when when we brought it forward. So I, I'm not quite sure why staff would think that we would destroy it, but well, nobody, I, nobody, I think that's, I, nobody said nobody's concerned about uh, being destroyed. I, I they're just I, concerned about major change, about, right? Well, and, and, that's and that's part, but that's part of life. Yeah. And you could, and whenever you get a new leader, things may be done differently. All right. And, and but that's okay. And and I will say the same thing when we did a with that was South County Senior Center. We've had three or four directors, managers of, of the South County Senior Center. And I still go back to, to our first our first director and she left an imprint. Zoe has left an imprint. Now now, Tim, you may be in the job for a short time, but guess what? You're gonna leave an imprint on this on this department. I believe it will be a favorable, okay? So, but everybody does, every, I've had different bosses. <laughs> I used to have two bosses on a different shift, but. Right, but, but we but, have, but these guys here haven't. As uh, long as South County EMS has existed, Zach, or Zoe's been their boss, right? Eh, but, yes. So they haven't known anything different. So it probably is. If, if you go back to when we started, we went through this. There was fear in three towns about forming one ambulance service. Right. And there was fear about full timers versus part timers, or full timers versus per diem. Yeah. And just we, do, we just, worked our way through. I know. And just do your job. Right. I, I, I just, it's, it's understandable. Not, it's not, for me, it's not hard. Just do your As job. They've keep never your worked nose, for anyone keep your, else. No, keep, your, keep your nose, your nose clean. I keep moving forward. And as somebody who wasn't instrumental in starting this position, I've been here for a year and once. The board of oversight is going to be here. So if the new director has comes in and, and something years. something untoward is going to occur, the board of oversight is there to protect the service. It's not there, Absolutely. you know, to protect the new director. Thank you. Um, so right. uh, I think that uh, we're going to do the the best job we can to find the right person for the position, and um, I would encourage. Um, you know the current employees to come up with a list of questions that they want the interviewer to present to the candidates. Um, I'm I'm not sure that uh, you know you're going to have an opportunity to participate in the initial interviews because that's not allowed by law. So um, that's the best course I could suggest to you is to come up with a list of things that are important to the paramedics here that the, that a, a, a potential candidate for director should be asked. 
I'll, be, I'll make sure to reach out to everybody and get everybody's opinions and make sure that you guys know all of them. One of the, one of the things that we were going to do this summer is work with Comstar because um, and have Comstar come down and do a demonstration of what they were doing on um, you know collections and stuff because. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, so, we had so that Kim, let's talk about finances again. I know. You, I know. You're, gonna, you're gonna make the guy not want to be in the job any longer. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, so I have to make a motion. It's 6.52 and you want to be out of here by 6.45. I know. We've I'm, done the business we need to do. I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. Thank you. I'll second. I'm waiting for a second. Tim, I'll second. I will follow up. All those, in, all those in favor of adjourning, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Can I ask a question?